Hello, and welcome to Pokemon TCG Daily. Fellow trainers, I hope you've had a fantastic weekend whenever you are watching this. Today, we're opening up a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Booster Box. This is a really great booster box that just came out. I think it was just this past week or two. Uh, it has 10 Hidden Fates booster, uh, booster Packs in it, and it also comes with a bunch of other goodies that you typically find in these Elite Trainer Box. Hidden Fates has been a very interesting kind of subset uh, but it's it's included some new cards for sure, like Jesse and James and some other ones. But it's also had a bunch of reprints of other cards from the Sun and Moon era. They got like a sh a shiny Charizard, that's probably the most infamous one from the set too. But also has a bunch of other shiny Pokemon as well that you can also pull from this. But with all that, let's go ahead and jump into the contents of this booster box. So these kind of things have features some fantastic, fantastic artwork. Uh, they always come with this little pamphlet that ha that shows what cards you can get in this set. Um, it definitely will have. I want to see if I can find right here the one that people uh definitely if you do want to there is if there is one to pull it's right there it's the shiny charizard uh we'll see if we can pull it be uh so lucky to pull this little guy i think i, I saw some crazy uh ebay listings from him in the past and then also comes with uh we'll go ahead and unravel this as well all these end up kind of showing a cool little poster i actually do have most of these set aside i want to try to unglue this because it does have its own little glue thing on it and stuff without trying to rip any of it let's see if i can do this on camera just about got it right there. Awesome. Show some of that fantastic artwork there. Really cool looking stuff. My favorite, uh, my favorite of the legendary birds has to be Articuno, one of my favorite Pokemon. Adorable looking Mew, really cool Mewtwo, and Shiny Charizard. Like I said, just some fantastic artwork. Pokemon has some of the best artwork out there. An illustration as well and on the contents of the cool stuff this box right here i'm going to go ahead and remove this cardboard get this out of the way all that, all that extra fluff we don't need that but this one actually has a really cool promo as well little dividers an online code and stuff because this one does come with a promo card it comes with this really awesome uh glass stain looking uh uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno Tag Team GX. I want to bring in the focus on my camera just a little bit so this can be seen. A gorgeous, gorgeous looking card. I probably won't take it out of this packaging in a lot of the ones like this. I, I do end up just kind of keeping in, in them in there to preserve it. These little things are really awesome little grabs if you are just getting into it. It comes with some uh, uh, flippable coin, uh, uh, damage counters if you're playing the game competitively, uh, another GX counter, a poison, burn marker, all those cool looking things. Um, decent amount of energy right here and these awesome looking sleeves i do want to use these the quality on a lot of the sleeves has come up uh some of these sleeves i actually do like i think they think they are pretty cool uh pretty cool to use and they don't feel too bad even uh as a competitive player and of course the main event of the show it comes with 10 hidden fates pokemon booster packs so let's go ahead and start ripping through these this the artwork for some of these booster packs are also killer as well um i actually haven't i haven't seen the artwork for this one i don't think i've uh, opened one that has the uh the tag team trio on it so let's go ahead and start with this one this is booster pack number one out of 10 um but in case if you are branding my channel for over an entire year i did booster pack opening every single day i'm slowly trying to get in the habit of uploading content every single monday wednesday and friday that's my long-term goal uh but with that let's go ahead we'll start things here i do think we hit a white coat i think all the codes in this actually are white codes when they do little special things like this we'll see if that uh, holds out to be true i did kind of see a peek out of there and stuff i do think the trick holds out to be true yes it does start with uh, uh energy uh, but let's go ahead and see what we have here first we have a psychic energy we have a scyther i'm just adjusting the focus just a little bit we have a scyther right there we have a magmar we have a charmeleon we have a cubone we have a geodude jigglypuff star you ekans we have a Leafeon GX. That is really cool. That is a fantastic, fantastic artwork. And we have a Snorlax. That is a way to kick off. If there's a way to kick off a booster box, it's like that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I think I have seen this card used a little bit. I'm not uh, super familiar or haven't played against too many people using Leafeon GX. But that is a cool way to kick off this video. So that was booster pack one, uh, number one from this box. Let's go ahead and jump into booster pack number two. Uh, but yeah, I did a booster pack opening every single day for over an entire year straight. Uh, my last official day when I was doing it was sometime back in April. I, th I think that was my last day when I uploaded my last consecutive uh, daily video. Let's go ahead and see what we have in this one next. We kick things off with a steel type energy um it was a lot of fun we have another lieutenant surge right here and like i said i didn't even know he was in this lieutenant surge we got a reprint of misty's determination this was also included i think it was in the xy era too uh that's pretty cool pokemon center lady is back another card that was also featured in the xy era as well we have a slow poke we have a magic card we have an adorable looking pikachu we have a voltorb we have a coughing 
We have a shiny Eevee. That is awesome. This has been a total Eevee box and we have a Zapdos right there. This has been a awesome, awesome booster box so far. Super happy with that. This energy, this Eevee is a reprint from the Sun and Moon one. So a lot of these cards you can't necessarily use uh, use competitively if you're if you know if you know enough about the standard and expanded format. This isn't in standard anymore, but it is still a really, really cool card to have. By far one of the best EVs, the energy evolution EVs that is out there to use competitively if you're playing in expanded format. Um, so far, really consistent, uh, really consistent pulls, uh, and I've been really happy with that. Um, let's go ahead and we'll keep going here. I think we've had, I think we hit a really good box. Um, like I said, I just kind of keep seeing things that are just peeking out just a little bit, so uh, let's see if we can keep this going. We have a water energy. We have a Kogos Trap. We have a Brox Pewter City Gym, now the Lieutenant Search. We have a Clefairy. We have another Slowpoke. We have a Pikachu. We have a Charmander, we have a Voltorb, we have a shiny Glissopod GX, and our last card in here is a Golem. So, so far we've hit three shiny Pokemon, I think. Um, I didn't actually, I couldn't tell if this one was a shiny uh, Leafeon GX or what, but so far we've hit three pulls, I would say three really good pulls so far. Um, like I said, this Glissopod was definitely something that was used when he first came out. I think he was, a, yeah, he was Burning Shadows, a really, really awesome looking cards right there. So I'm gonna set those aside. Three booster packs, three awesome things. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can keep this going. Um, a lot of supporter cards. Uh, we've gotten, what, two Lieutenant Surge, uh, Misty's Determination and stuff. So some pretty cool stuff in here as well. Um, let's go ahead, set this aside, and see what we have in, in booster pack number four. We kick things off with a Lightning Energy. We have a Gian Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, another Brock's Pewter City Gym, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Golem, and we have a Gyarados GX. That is pretty cool. We I did open a Gyarados GX tin. I didn't film that opening, but that is another really awesome looking GX we have right there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six Pokemon booster packs. Let's go ahead and see what we can keep getting out of Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates has been awesome so far. And those are just all some really like really usable cards too. That's not just it. Those aren't just cards that aren't like not like no fluff there. They're all pretty pretty uh, good cards. Uh, four from the back again, and we'll guess this one. Energy. Let's see. Water energy. Fire energy. We kick things off with the fire energy. We have a Misty Cerulean uh, Cerulean City Gym. We have a Chansey. We have a Giovanni's Exile. Caterpie, one of my favorite bug Pokemon. Paris. Ekans. Psyduck. Star you reverse hollow Sabrina suggestion and we have a Mew. So we just got we have I wasn't sure at first I was thinking like maybe I overlooked something where like I was thinking did it was uh was hidden fate something where it's like guarantees like a something with every every single pack but with those first three packs we did just get that lucky pulling a gx a shiny pokemon with each pack we have so far and that pack right there was by no means pulling a mew um that's a pretty good uh that's a pretty good little mew right there those were all some very very solid pulls so i want to go ahead and see if we can get i want to get as far into this video as i can before i have to make this into a second clip because i probably will have to have one edit here in this video but this is booster pack number six or seven we have yeah this is number booster pack number five um let's go ahead yeah this has been a super super killer booster box uh to say the least i'm gonna go ahead and guess the energy on this one again let's go ahead and see what this one um let's guess uh grass energy uh fighting energy not too bad we have a uh, fighting energy we have a brock's grit misty cerulean uh, city gym another chancy geodude cubone another eevee another clefairy Another Psyduck, a uh, Reverse Hollow Clefairy, and we have an Arbok. A lot of love from Gen 1 in this set, so I do enjoy seeing that kind of thing. Um, uh, Pokemon does sell on nostalgia for sure. Um, Gen 1 is definitely a personal favorite for a lot of people, so it is cool to see Gen 1 getting uh, the love, the love it deserves. It was the first, it was the original. But there's, uh, there's, there's things I love about every single Pokemon generation out there. So let's go ahead and see what we have in this one. We kick things off with a Dark Energy. We have a Chansey, we have a Graveler, Giovanni's Exile, Paris. We have a Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, shiny whooper i think this is the second one i pulled and back here we have full art uh no rainbow rare moltres 
uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno Tag Team GX. This has got to be by far the craziest booster box I think I've ever opened up. We have three booster packs still, and these are kind of all the pulls we've gotten from this one. This has been a sick, uh, this has been a sick Elite Trainer box. So it kind of turned out to be an accident, turned out to be a blessing. I do have to cut one little clip right here because my camera is about to overheat, but we still have three. Alrighty, that was all pretty crazy so far. When it was off for a second, I was able to put everything in sleeve so far. This was out of eight booster packs we got off, so almost a hit per booster pack. Absolutely crazy. Uh, we have three Pokemon booster packs from him, this Hidden Fates box we still have left, and we're actually gonna do a bonus round as well. I have one Guardian Rising booster pack I got from a challenge today, so I wanna open that up while I'm on camera as well and just get that out of the way. So let's go ahead and open up this Hidden Fates Pokemon booster pack and see what we have in here. Um, probably the best elite trainer box by far I have ever opened up. So let's go ahead, see if we keep this magic going as well. Um, let's do four from the back. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna guess a lightning energy, fairy type energy. Uh, I gotta bring that focus back in on my camera a little bit, but yeah, absolutely a crazy, crazy box. Um, I don't know what the pull rates are. Like I haven't seen too many videos. Uh, Farfetch, he's got a cool new evolution coming. Another Brock's Peter City Gym. We have a Geodude, Eevee, we have a Clefairy, but this box has been very, very kind to us. For, uh, for sure, I got my money's worth for this one. Ekans, Reverse Hall, Magmar, and we have a very adorable looking uh, Clefable, Clefable right there. Two more Pokemon booster packs to go. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. Um, yeah, it's been a really great weekend. I'm working on my in, uh, my world's invite. I have a look. I have some points so far. I'm still working towards it, but um, all good things to come. I do plan to try to go for my 2020 world's invite that will be in London next summer. I can't believe I'm already talking about things. Summer just wrapped up right now, but uh, it's never too early to start planning. We have a fire energy. We have a Brock's Peter City Gym. We have another Chansey, Graveler, Staryu, Ekans, another Caterpie. Another Paris, another Charmander, really cool looking Charm. I actually am a huge fan of that Charmander, pretty cool looking. Reverse Hall Clefable, and our last card is a Golem. We have one more Pokemon booster pack from this Hidden Fates set. This will probably be the last Hidden Fates booster pack I open for a while. It's just more of a subset and a lot of things, especially recently. Um, most cards I do try to buy singles of. I buy a pre-release kit or something here and there, and I get booster packs from tournaments. So I am doing a lot less of booster, uh, po po uh, booster pack openings than I was this time last year. But let's go ahead and see what we have in this last Hidden Fates Pokemon booster pack. And we have one Guardian Rise and Pokemon booster pack just for kicks and giggles. Um, I don't even want to, I don't even want to try to keep this as tight as possible and see what we have here. Let's kick things off with a, did I do the card trick yet? Nope. I see the lightning energy right there. I don't think there's anything too crazy in this one, but we have a lightning energy. We have, I'm just kind of hoping, making sure these things don't fall over here on the side of my desk. We have a Jinx. We have a Magmar. We have another Farfetch. We have a Cubone. Really cool looking Cubone. I actually really like that artwork. Who's that in the background? That Pokemon back. Um, I was—I thought there was a, I thought it was like a ghost or something in the background, but that's a really cool looking Cubone. We have a Geodude, we have an Eevee, we have a Jigglypuff, we have a Coffin, we have a Hollow Energy, that is cool, and we have a Hollow Misty's Water Command. I don't know what either of these cards do, but these cards look sick. I've never actually pulled a Hollow Energy from a booster pack itself. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. That's a cool way to end this. I actually want to sleeve both these up. And we have one more booster pack too. We have one random Guardian Rising booster pack just because. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick what's inside here as well. Um, that was a crazy Hidden Face Pokemon boost pack. No Charizard green coat, so we're not in any on an exciting note or anything, but let's see what we have at this. This I'm gonna use just more as my outro lightning energy, but yeah, that was a really great, really great booster box. Cool suited Wooda right there. Wilmore, Belmum, Rockruff, Reverse Hollow, Alola Mole, and we have a tra Garborder Trash Lange. This is a pretty decent pull. So even from this one booster pack, there was two cards here that are relevant still in Expanded for sure. Um, even that, that Sableye is really cool too so i won't complain about pulling either of those guys that is awesome great way to end the video i want to sleeve this up we can do a little recap real quick so yeah these uh hidden fades booster box uh booster boxes are retailing for about 50 bucks right now uh like i said at the beginning they're all random you never know what you're gonna get inside one of these uh, this one was a little bit on the better side, definitely for sure. I got my money's worth here right now, so let's go ahead, start from the top. Uh, let's show that cool, uh, the promo card that will come in every single one of these right here. Uh, a bunch of the other tins and stuff. I think I had one of the tins lying around somewhere in here. Um, but there's uh, three other tins that are out right now as well. We pulled a Leafeon GX. We have the Shiny Wooper, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, Tag Team, Rainbow Rare. 
Shiny Eevee, Shiny Galissapod, Gyarados GX, and the uh, Glastain Zapdos Moltres. We got a Hollow Energy and a Hollow Misty's Water Command as well. Just a very, very fantastic looking thing in case anyone else wanted to see it as well. Uh, we also did pull two other kind of cool ones. We have a Mew back here and Zapdos. Probably some pretty uh, some pretty cool cards as well. The little dice and stuff in case anyone's interested in picking one of these things up. Definitely a good bang for your buck. That was a really, really great video. Really glad I, I decided to save and do this on camera as well. Um, I am willing to hand out some of the codes from this box as well. I do want to hold on some of them for myself as I do trade and stuff on the po on PTCGO, but I am more than willing to hand out codes and stuff. Uh, this is how I'm just handling this. Uh, what I did last year was like this video, subscribe to brand new. Um, I'm going to be, I hand out the codes personally. I know a lot of channels just flip them up on the screen and stuff. But I really like to hand out the codes personally. I gave out hundreds of codes, uh, probably like a thousand codes last year when I was doing it every single day. Um, I was always really generous to them. Um, I did a Pokemon question of the day every single day, so I want to do that again. Um, I think I did this last time too, but down in the comments below, if you've made it to this point in the video, let me know what your favorite shiny Pokemon is. And if you do that and go follow me on Instagram, I will send you a couple Hidden Fates codes. I definitely got extra of those right now. So more than willing, if you also are a content creator or do YouTube, Pokemon, YouTube, anything, let me know. I'd love to start collaborating with other channels channels and this week i really hope to uh upload videos every monday wednesday and friday whether it's just small booster packs openings or other things i really want to be consistent and trying to build up this channel the best that i can but fellow trainers with all that said i hope you're having a great day wherever you are um you're getting to play some pokemon i got a lot of pokemon goals for this uh plan for this next year and i will see you next time